Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by BlackRifleCoffee.com. Whoa! We I don't, don't, I don't, with I don't believe we've ever had a guest just uh, come and sit down like that. Just make we, themselves right at home. It's we, how I have to I'm sit gonna, when I'm look, in skinny I've tried jeans. To, I've tried to fancy it up here and go very late. We always open with a woe. If you put on skinny jeans, it's going to happen. Yeah. I, look, I, I'm not wearing skinny jeans, but I'm gonna, I'll lady it up with you. I'll lady it up with you. I Oof. like that. That's a power move. You can Old wear lady. my stilettos. We're about the same size. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm taller Those than you. Those are snakeskin stilettos. They I'm are. a lot taller They're than you. They're size 11, so who's got 11 shoes? Boo! I get 12. Wow. Yeah, 12. you're welcome. Yeah. 12, but I'll try it. He's not even wearing yeah, look, shoes. Try I'm wearing, once. They're called slippies. And oh, I'm God. I yeah. hate that word. Dan will try anything once. Oh, or twice. That word. Yeah. Thrice. Why? Yeah, whatever. Whatever fourth is. Well, yeah, but whatever fourth. F- thrice. 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 Where did you, where <laughs> did you find her? This is Jennifer Marshall. Um, saving you, I, 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 saving I, I, Jennifer Marshall? Yeah, I'll say this. Shaving <laughs> Jennifer Marshall. You're kind of known as the vet who's trying to bust open in Hollywood and become the trying. like the spokesperson for the transition for veterans into yeah. Hollywood. Yeah. yeah, yeah, of course. And then she realizes they all fuck her over, and she's like, God damn <laughs> no. it. I know, but... No, so, most vets are great. Most of them are great. But here's the wild thing. So we met at uh, on the red carpet for Not a, not war, a story. war Story. Right. Right? So I go home, don't think anything about it. <laughs> I'm on the treadmill. This is no lie. I'm on the treadmill. Uh, CNBC is on, and a commercial comes on for, like, life insurance or... Uh, I think it was mortgages. Yes, mortgages. Yeah. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's the girl who interviewed me. Cut to like six months after that, you're on Stranger Things, the new season of Stranger Things. I was like, oh, fuck. Yeah. What? Like, I feel like you're everywhere. So I started following you on Instagram because our little interview uh, had a gajillion it was hits. It's classic. On it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Oh, my gosh. All the, I just want to point out that if you haven't seen this interview, please YouTube it because all the rest of the hosts on the red carpet who were going after me were backing away. They were listening to what Ross was saying, and they were backing away like, oh, shit, I don't want to interview so this guy. Good. Things got real crazy. Look, I always get real crazy in interviews. <laughs> but that went around everywhere, and then I just kept seeing your face pop up everywhere. So I was like, fuck, I got to follow this girl on Instagram. And so I follow you on your Instagram, and it seems like you're working all the time, just always booking I've been, shit. Yeah, I've been blessed. I've been really blessed. Yeah. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed. Yeah, yeah, you have to put hashtag a hashtag. Hashtag blessed life. Hashtag grateful. Hashtag grindfather. Hashtag... Always grinding. Set life. Always grinding. Hashtag set life. Yes. Hashtag actor's life. Yeah. Hashtag rise and grind. Um. Hashtag suicide. Because that's yeah. what th- this is making me want to do right now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It apparently so, makes a lot of people in Hollywood do that too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, there's been a lot of that lately, there isn't there? Been. Yeah, because it's an industry that, yeah, you know, it kind of makes you feel like shit about yourself 24 uh, 7. So, is it that, or is there a lot of Hillary Clinton support out here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe, they, maybe they wronged the Clintons. Exactly. Do you, do you feel like you can't talk about shit? Like, oh, uh, well, yeah. first of all, are you a Republican or um, are you allowed to say that? No. So, I mean, I'll say it. I'm. I'm pretty much a fiscally conservative, socially progressive person. So, yeah, my money is conservative. I don't give a shit if gay people get married. Like, that's great. I think you should be able to get married. Yeah. Yeah, stop bothering everybody. Yeah, exactly. I mean, just let people do what they want to do. I don't care about that. Jared's been, Jared's been wanting that for years. Just what? to cozy up with his bear. SCOTUS said it's okay. Just, I just do it. I, just, I, I never knew what the argument was. Like, like who cares? Uh, the argument is they don't want people just tummy sticking out in the streets. Why? You know? like, was that the argument? Is that what happens when yeah, they get married? Yeah, I, I believe. All of a sudden, there's, well, did you notice there's grotesque PDA. I, yeah, I believe as, it, as soon as Scotus made that ruling about marriage equality, horses started eating each other. Yep. Just apocalyptic shit. Sorry, I don't know if you remember. Yeah. That was what 2014. I just remember just downhill tummy ever since sticks then. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, see, I was I, in a, I was in a grocery like, store. I, I didn't rivers, notice a single rivers, thing. Rivers, I didn't notice a single thing happen. Like I didn't been, feel any different. I did. It's been rivers of semen. I mean, the streets. everywhere. There Ever was just much to your you know, delight. All we did was, yeah, oh yeah. Uh, you know, create uh, a number of more unhappy married people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Well, listen, I mean, Britney Spears got married after 55 hours or something, and then they're telling these two guys who've been together 35 years you can't get married. It's like, dumb. fuck it, let's be dumb. married. That could have been dumb. And their Britney. argument has always been dumb. Oh, it's religious reasons. Well, who says your religion owns marriage? Yeah. It doesn't. Right. And plenty of non-religious people get married who are exactly. straight. So no, whatever. It, you know, you look at the the history of marriage, and it predates any organized religion. But I still don't think you should be able to tummy stick, do tummy sticks. Listen, I don't remember married, this happening. It everybody was. So doing your problem it, is premarital tummy sticks. Yes, 
What I, I think you have to be married to do tummy sticks. Premarital tummy sticks. Yeah. What is my position? Yeah. yeah. I, you know what? Your I'm position's mish. For and against all of it. <laughs> <laughs> Premarital mish. No, I don't care. I no, I, I know. Why you, you don't care. Why Can you, we talk about you how... Are you, you're not gay, are you? I don't know. Ask my husband. Okay, so you are married. No, I'm totally married. But if I wasn't married to him, I'd probably be gay. Really? Yeah, totally. No shit. No, totally. You ever hooked up with a girl? Why doesn't he push this? Have you ever hooked up with a girl? Uh, no, I've been married for a long time. We've been married. I we got married when I was 22, so we've been married a long time. But I, when oh. I go to callbacks, sometimes they'll have like chemistry reads, and you'll have to kiss somebody. Yeah. And I would much rather kiss like a row of five chicks than five guys. I get that. Just, Ouch. Yeah. I understand. I mean, that, women yeah. have better hygiene, and they're. Oh yeah, yeah. Look, at, nicer. look at King guys Dingling like, over here. Hey, yeah. First <laughs> off, it's Poncho Dingling. Number one. <laughs> number one. Number two. I have great hygiene. No, no, you don't. Dan, hygiene in the group. Who's the worst? The worst. I mean, well, come on. Everyone... You're, you're. Well, actually, fuck. No, you've known Jared longer than I have. Yeah. Yeah. Quite what was his hygiene like back in the day? He's been a piece of garbage for as long as I've known him. There it is. <laughs> but there it is. You know, it's part of his charm. It is part of his charm. He's like Ouch. a little troll doll. You fucking fuck its hair up, muss its hair up. And what about your husband? Your Does he keep it clean? Does he keep it? Oh, yeah. No, totally. He we wouldn't be married 16 years if that's not the case. Yeah. Completely years. completely shaved wow. from the neck down, right? You said you got married when you were 22. You just your husband, not you. 16 years. You just hey. gave it away. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't give a shit. You can't do mass. Shut the fuck I'll up. I'll just get more Botox like to just cover it. I'll just My that's whole fine. face will be that's like fine. a Botox Close face. Botox yeah. actually work, too. You just kind of do this. Is he in the military? He was, yeah. He was in for 23 years. Oh, shit. Yeah. So he did full gambits. Yes, yeah, so you get retirement and all that shit, right? Yeah. yeah. That's dope. Yeah. Uh, did he come here with you to pursue your dream at oh that point? Oh, my God, yeah. He, we were living in Virginia, and I was working as an actor you know, in Virginia, and I was doing non-union stuff and local commercials, and I got to a point where I couldn't book anything else, and I said, I want to move to L.A., and he's like, L.A.'s liberal as shit, and the traffic's horrible, and I fucking hate L.A., no. All of that's true, by the way. Well... Yes, it is. And uh, I said, all right, well, I'm going with you or without you. So thankfully, he bought that bluff and came. Really? Yeah. How, how many years were you guys married at that point? Uh, this was only like eight years ago. So we've been married about I, eight. I think she said, I'll give you a double ring way slider. And he was like, I don't know what that is. Yep. But I'm going to L.A. <laughs> yep. Because I want to find out what exactly. the double ring way slider is. And, and then and he didn't realize it was just a dish that she had come up with. Yeah. I don't cook. He actually cooks. Never so. mind. We don't yeah. cook? Fuck no, I don't cook. God damn it. I don't cook. I'm Jennifer? like the worst wife. I clean like nobody's business, but I don't cook. My poor kids, when my husband's out of town, are like, Mom, are we having deli tonight? I'm like, yeah. How many kids do you have? I have four, but I have two at home. Whoa. My two oldest were his from a previous marriage. Ah, uh, uh, so I thought you meant like two still on the inside. I was like, all right, no. cool. When are they popping I have two out? that I lost custody of due to my meth binge. I really yeah. wish you would have said 16. I've got 16. We were like, I have 16 what? kids. I was. It wouldn't surprise me. Redheads have a lot of kids for some reason. Catholic. Is that, it? is that what it is? Yeah. No shit. They're Irish Catholic. Catholic. Irish ah. Catholic. Lots Catholic of kids. Then. Is that what you are? No. What I'm are not you? Catholic. Were, were your parents? Well, you only have no. two kids. What? I've, I mean, I have four. I raised them since they were seven and nine. So. Right, but you've only crapped out two kids. Uh, I've adopted two kids. I hope to crap out one. One soon. more? Yeah. Another one? Soon. Yeah. Are you pregnant now? No, I wish. Well, any volunteers? Just kidding. Yeah, look, we'll all give it a go. Um, <laughs> Let my husband know it's cool. I'm sure my wife's <laughs> fine with it. Like, yeah. if he if he's we'll seen a picture a of me, then I, I'm sure he would approve. I, w- I was actually asking the audience. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like oh, 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 gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Like, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Your wife's pretty this. hot too. She is. Yeah, she's beautiful. I know. Yeah, and she just fired one out not too long ago. Too. Yeah, uh, six months. We yeah. have a six month old. What? Yeah. She looks so good. Yeah. Yeah, you'd be surprised. He, uh, it was the size of a, of a barrel yeah. when he was born. Eighteen oh pounds yeah. uh, wide. Yeah. So yeah. wide, Eight, wide. I'm sorry. Wide. Came out very with a wide birth. I'm sorry. You said eighteen pounds wide. Yes. Yeah. Wide. No, that's very that's wide. A, that's a that's big true. kid. Width. I know. Yep. I know that. I yeah. know that measurement. Jared delivered the baby. I did. So I didn't wear gloves. Nope. He but said, did don't need it. I trust hands. you. That's what real friends do. Yeah. I feel like that's yucky. Real friends will deliver, really. deliver a baby. No. Gloves are yucky when you're like, you know, they're all slimy and stuff like that. If it's just on your hands, it kind of soaks in. I'm going to be honest. If, if Jared, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, if you have another kid, I'll, de- I'll deliver it you will? Well, you know without the, gloves. You know what sure. the good thing about that is? That's all stem cell blood, so it rejuvenates your body. Yeah. yeah. I oh, felt yeah. younger the next day. That's just you wipe it all over your face? Like that's like just a vampire basic facial? science. Yeah, it's like getting a fucking, uh, what do you call it? Toddler blood. The PRP, vampire facial. platelet replacement therapy yeah, or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Have you done that? This just 
No, not that one. No. This okay. just gave me an idea for next year's to rub football season. blood on your face. Yeah. Right? No, no. The bet we need to bet on a game oh, on the shit. Super Bowl, and loser has to get Botox. <laughs> Botox. <laughs> You know, but ridiculous. I'd like, like to get it in my my sack so that there's no wrinkles. <laughs> I, I want to see Dan. I want to see Dan with super swollen <laughs> cheeks. That'd be awesome. Oh, or, or, or lip. What about lip, lip injections yeah, on lip Dan? Lip yeah, yeah, yeah. Lip fillers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'd be fucking. Oh, it'd hilarious. be phenomenal. A dude um, with a beard with huge lip fillers. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds sexy, I guess. Ah, maybe. Is yeah. your husband any work done? Does my husband have work done? Yeah. No. Did he do anything? No, he would never do anything. You're in that. Hollywood. I mean, it's kind of fucking. Yeah. No, but I mean, he works at a studio, but he works in HR. So. Like, okay. No, he totally he just has would never to deal with you know all this Me Too stuff and everything. Holy shit! What studio does he work at? He works at Fox. Okay. So was well, he a logistician in the military as well? Like no, he was a. Uh, so he basically did like equal opportunity stuff, like HR type stuff towards the end. He was an aircraft structural mechanic. Mm. Uh, but then he went Sheet to metal. EO type stuff. Yeah. But then he, he knew he didn't want to do that, so he went to EO, HR type stuff. Oh, that does. I would have stuck with a welder and, a, and a, an airplane. <laughs> Which is not him because he's not PC at all. So, <laughs> But he develops he develops content and teaches people. He doesn't really like police people. What would you, you do in the military? I was a logistics specialist. And then after 9-11, they were like, oh, shit, like nobody in the Navy knows how to shoot. So anybody who was a decent shot, they moved us to Ship Security Defense Force. Because in boot camp, we only shot five live rounds. That's it. It's worse than the Air Force. What? We shot yeah. 40. Prior, prior to 9-11, it just wasn't a thing. But they taught us how to tie some fucking knots, let me tell you. Yeah, can you do a midshipman's knot? I mean, not anymore. Can you do a bowling? Not anymore. Can you do a spacey? No. What, Kevin? spacey? Yeah, Kevin, yeah, Kevin, Kevin spacey. spacey. It's where you tie little, make them two little dicks. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> tie together? I'm not into tying little dicks. Okay. Like uh, what's it, what's it really like as a woman in the military? Like, is every dude trying to fuck you all the time? Uh, yes. Yeah, yes. even when you're not even that cute. Like... It's funny because you're I, cuter. Because <laughs> like when I was on the ship, I was like boat cute. Because how cute can you be on the ship, right? And uh, yeah, guys are always like, hey, 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 and you're just like enough, enough. You're constantly just. See, I, dicks where, where where is this ship at of full of females that I could be like enough, enough? Yeah, 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 yeah. No, because yeah. it's only like. <laughs> so how did you meet your husband? Did you meet him on the ship? Yeah. So Ooh. what the fuck, dude? You just no. bashed Somebody it was good no, enough no, for the laundry somebody room. Somebody got their dick in there. Yeah. No, because I came, I came in to to a watch late, and he was in E six, and I would think I was in E four, and I walked in, and he was standing, he was sitting there with his feet up on the desk, and he goes, "Oh, Petty Officer Marshall, so nice of you to fucking join us." And my my heart dropped. I was like, "Oh my god, this is not an E six watch." And yeah, that's how I met him. He was a complete dick to me for like three months. Wow. Did you bring him on the boat? The first no. time? No. Oh, God. We, n- no. Come I don't. On. They do it all the time. I, people do, but it's really gross on the ship. So, no, I did no banging on the ship at Why all. is it so gross? I, I don't know, because you clean constantly, but it's just gross. On the but ship, it's, it's clean. Just gross. Yeah. No, everything's dusty. I on a the non-skin. I liked my room. You didn't think it was dirty? No, not at when all. you were in the shower, you weren't leaning up against the sides, no, were you? We were in Chief's quarters, so it was pretty nice. Oh, we were in Chief's quarters. Ooh, yeah. look at that. Look at that. I bet Speaking you, of that, we got a cruise coming up soon. Yeah. That, we, we, we have a, we have a drinking get bros cruise. I know. One. Full on cruise. Ridge, you got the uh, lower third down yeah. there? Yeah. Right down. Where's that at? The cruise. This Ridge. one's going to be, no matter how much they clean, this one's going to get real dirty. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like there'd be a lot of batting dicks away on this cruise. So No, actually, actually right now, the females outweigh the males. The females outnumber the really? men. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, because yeah. they're more organized. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's and they like to plan ahead. Plan this ahead, yeah. When we announced this, it was almost a year in advance. And of course, all the women are. Like I gotta check the calendar. All right, it's open. We have to book now. Exactly. Yeah, because I, I know have I- to lock it in the calendar. If I don't tell my wife, like it, 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 I, month in advance, it. yeah, or she does, she doesn't tell me, like exactly what I'm doing every day. I have no fucking idea what I'm doing every day. None. It's all. She up brushes to her. his hair for him in the morning. And yeah. Everything. You don't get a swayze. She's so petite. Like, how does she get up? No, he sits on the floor. Yep. Oh. She's on the I, bed right here. He kneels here. on the floor. We call it the Shetland. Yeah. And he's just, she's just like combing his hair back. Like I, really, get, I get down on all fours like a Shetland pony, and then she she combs it. It's really sweet, actually. You could yeah. just you could edit that out. I get down on all fours, yep. and then edit, and then put in whatever you and want. And then put it back. And that so was, right I was at the face. corner of Michael Jackson's bedpost. Aww. Well, that's uh, not the... You, you watched it. You know what I'm talking about. We've actually had a discussion recently about when we become independently wealthy, what we're going to do is hire lookalikes of each other. and you then should. 
pay the lookalikes to do graphic gay porn. Gay porn, yeah. Oh. And then send it to each other every day. Super graphic oh. gay pornography. So I'm going to find someone that looks just like this asshole right here and then you... have him getting railed. And I'm going to text him a picture of it every single day for the rest of his life. But you probably don't need to get a double. You could just ask him on the sly. Yeah, I mean, look, if you want me to live fuck for you. Are I'll... you looking into my eyes? Yeah. I mean, uh, we're, we're side by side. If you want me to live fuck for you twice, I'll do it twice. Okay. So. Turn these cameras Wait on. A yeah, Wait a minute. Let me know. If you <laughs> Excuse want me, to me you're, for you. <laughs> he's just watching? <laughs> yeah, because he's a watcher, and I understand I am that. a watcher. You know that about yes, me. Yes, I, I do know I that can see that. He's, a, he's very voyeuristic. So, like, right. you know, if, if we want right. to live fuck, we live fuck, you know? Yeah. Um, you know, I, I, that's really nice of you. I appreciate that. What, what religion <laughs> is it where you cut a hole through a sheet? And you do that first. I think that's some form of Judaism, yeah. actually, yeah. So I would start there. I would put the sheet over myself with the hole, obviously, in my bottom. And then <laughs> I would do it through that. Because I don't want to see you or know that you're there. But we'll kind of be <laughs> on like a time, bottom. like what an egg timer. So who's the guy that's going to be <laughs> blasting you out? Um... I, I'd kind of man. You see, I mean, I you are more of a tarp person, and you're more of a mish. Like throw your legs beyond your head, and then have the hole with a. Tarp. Is it called tar- a tarp? <laughs> like a tarp? Oh, a tarp. Yeah, a tarp. Yeah, a tarp. No, 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 no. But yeah. I need to see your just, face. I'm gonna, That's yeah. what. I'm gonna go Egyptian cotton. All right, so I'll I'll carve my face out and my and just my butthole, and then do that. Okay. That's what I'll do for you. Um, <laughs> it's now like the a guy, really creepy smock. Yeah, the guy I want. I wanted him to look like. God, he just died. Jan Michael Vincent, R.I.P. Oh Airwolf, <laughs> the guy who played Airwolf. I. It was gonna be somebody who, like a lookalike of him. He's got Wait, really like, nice hair. Like Jan Michael Vincent, old or back in the day on back Airwolf? in the day. Like mm. I want the young. His old was kind of fetishy. Yeah, Jan minute. Michael Vincent. But he's dead, so, so we any, could reanimate him, maybe. Yeah, somebody in that in that vein, obviously. Bring in the intended. Botox doctor. Yeah, have you ever been to a Botox party in Hollywood? Or they just mm. show up with the truck and all that shit. No, I'm not gonna let somebody inject shit into my face, and I don't know their credentials. No way. Man, I've been doing a lot of at home surgeries. Yeah, yeah, yes, that's true. I mean, but do we really know what real credentials look like for surgery? I know. Yeah, dude. Yeah, for we Botox, like, really. we, I don't. No, we I mean, don't. No, we don't. We don't. I can Photoshop anything and make it look official. That's yeah, fair. yeah you can it's do that. printed on paper in a folder. My so official. I'll, I'll put it this way, right? So I live in a small town in Wilmington, North Carolina. Uh, population. It's just a small town girl. Yeah. Living in a lonely world. Living live in a lonely world. Population like two fifty, right? So there was a two hundred fifty thousand, not two hundred fifty people. I was like, what? Two hundred fifty thousand, right? I saw this woman for a Botox ad on com- on the commercials, right? Because all of the local actors in your area usually do the same commercials and yeah. shit over and over and over again. Yeah. And then I saw her. She was a, a, a waitress at a Mexican restaurant. So I was just like, oh. hey, I don't mean to, to bother you, but are we in that fucking Botox commercial? Do the things or whatever. And she goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. She goes, but I do that. And I was oh, like, she does oh, it. you can just, you can do that without being a real doctor because you're clearly a Mexican wait Like, restaurant waitress and she's like yeah i mean you know you don't really need that much well, Wait, she home, injects there's, home, yes. there, there's yes. at-home kits for this oh stuff, yeah yeah at-home kits uh-huh. and then uh which is how we came up with the at-home vasectomy yep yeah yeah, yeah. i can get behind an at-home vasectomy yeah yeah, yeah. The yeah. we ran into during the testing phase was the infections Yes. I mean, that doesn't affect me, so I don't care. It doesn't right. affect you, right. but it, it does. It's, but it, it affects one out of every leak, 18 men. You can leak some infection, and then that spreads gangrene, and it could get infect a woman. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Now, Sounds speaking good. of all of this, uh, we want to do a couple of remakes of, of you know popular shows from back in the day. Yeah. And I wanted to run some of them by you to yep. see what you th- see if you thought they would play in today's climate cuz today's climate's kind of fucked, right? You really want fucked. no bullshit answer though. Yeah. I'm yeah. not yeah, just going to smile and be like no sounds bullshit. great. Yeah. Yeah, 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 it'll yeah. probably yeah. suck. But okay, so the first one is called Quantum Butt Leap. Yes. Do you remember oh. Quantum Leap? I watch Quantum Leap in the morning with my kids. Great. I do. So, you'll you'll love this one then. This is a fantastic one. It's a it's a straight guy, but he's always leaping into gay power bottom bodies so he's always getting railed every episode over and over and over again by a, a dude he never gets to be the top no no Ooh. and he never gets to, get to into a straight body either so it's he's always a gay guy trapped in this body as a power bottom do the penis size vary per episode oh yeah i mean yeah it, it's oh, gonna be yeah i don't know if i can i mean maybe you wanted to go a, full 100 episodes but could he have like a holiday episode where he's the top just a holiday episode ah i actually like that 
like a like a secretary's yeah, day. He goes into a Santa. Yeah. yeah, a brief respite from getting drilled in his ass all the time. <laughs> so, so based off that, I give it the green light. Stamp of approval. Because then, then actually, she's she's making a lot of sense here. I'm, I'm glad you brought that up. Because then you have something to root for of like, oh, shit. I'll keep watching. Maybe he'll go back to a straight person's body, but he never does. Like, let him do it on Columbus Day. Yeah, but the, what's important about this show is the message that it's sending. It's saying, you know, n- no matter the cards you're dealt with, you just got to yep. you gotta keep being positive and you got to keep giving it your all. You got to keep plowing through. Yeah. And, and as it. a power bottom, you really have to give it back. Yeah, you've got to... <laughs> You've got, you've got to be steadfast. I'm sorry, do you have something to say there? you got to dig I, in your heels. I just don't know if you guys can get Scott Bakula back for this. It would have to be like an up and I saw him in an episode of It's Always Sunny recently. And Bakula, he, yeah. He looks bad, so I think we could probably get him pretty cheap. I mean, I'm um, really thinking we go fine. Freddie Prince Jr. on this. Maybe. Well, I mean, yeah. Homeboy, he's on yeah, Homeboy's just, podcast. We just had so. his uh, podcast co-host yeah, think, on the show. I think we can revive him. You know? Yeah, I, I'm down for that. What was the other idea you you were tossing around? The other one. This is actually th- this one. I actually want to do. This is not a joke. You're on board <laughs> with this too, right? Uh, is this is this uh, retard bud about the dog who's um, mentally retarded and keeps running into walls instead of playing sports? No. Okay. No, it's not that one. Which one was this? It's the uh, the one we were talking about yesterday. Yeah, Full House. Yeah, Full House. Ah, I think we need we should actually do that. That's a great one. To, Tell yeah. her what that is. Uh, I mean, it's it's a cr- creepy prequel to Full House. To Full so House. think of, think about Bob ca- Saget's character on Full House. Yep. Right. He's like nerdy and weird, really overly into cleaning everything all the time. Some of these are markers of sociopathy and 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 being a psychopath, like being uh. a murderer, serial killer. So, <coughs> excuse me. My idea is we do a prequel, mm-hmm. and it starts several years before. Uh, Full House begins episode one, which is where his wife has just died. He's in the house with, you know, his his uncle and his friend yep. and all this stuff, and the kids, and there's this weird, awkward relationship between him and the wife. Young kids, he's in some kind of career that's not going so well, um, but he's a straight, he's a buttoned up guy, right? Yep. He's on TV in that show, right? Yeah, like a new, uh, uh, I think a newscaster, yeah, maybe, newscaster, yeah. so or a morning show. Those kind of people, egomaniacs anyways. Correct, <laughs> yes. Uh, you know how it is. So it, I know. it just goes through this progression where you find out that he's killing the wife. It, mm. Yeah. Yeah, murders the wife. And like, but he's a, so he's a fucking hardcore serial killer, right? So, so he's so killed so goes, before. Yeah, no, yeah. Like, that's the thing. It starts like five years that, prior. Yeah. And he's killing people that whole time. Then why she, didn't he kill that annoying ass uncle? Could it oh, Dave Coulier. I hate that guy enough. Just Sir Dave Coulier. Oh. <laughs> Did he get knighted? I don't know. <laughs> and he's like the object of Alanis Morissette's song. Like what? Yes, isn't that crazy, man? That's crazy because she was hot. Did, did you know that, Jared? What? I don't think you don't. You know this story. This no. is true. It's Dave Coulier who is the Alanis Morissette's. Um, and I'm here yeah, to I know who Alanis you. is. Huh? Who's Dave Coulier? He's it's the fucking uncle on Full House. Oh, Joey. Yeah, it oh, that, oh God. yeah. That guy. Ooh, he's always doing the one, the, the Bullwinkle impression. Oh, and God. wasn't she that like underage? Wasn't she underage oh, or she was like shit. She wrote it about him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So well, they were in, in Canada. What age do you have to be to well, consent? I don't know, but I know she was young. Age. Well, actually, and she 14 was old. is the age you can send in Canada. Oh. Don't sue me. I'll say she was 18, but he was old and she was young. Yeah, I mean that's classic Coulier though. So back to the back Sorry. to the show. It's like a five season show, and all five <laughs> seasons he's just murdering the fuck out of people. Dexter style. And then sometime around late season three, she finds out what he's doing, or she has suspicions, and it goes through season four. He's still still murdering. She starts to discover more, and then season five is about him turning on her and getting rid of her. And then the last scene. Of the last episode of season five, you hear the fucking Full House theme song start playing, and then that like boom. it's super creepy yep. piano music or something. Oh, no, it, I fa- I figured out how to do it. I would I would transpose the Full House theme into a minor, and make it about half as half as fast, so it's super eerie. Do you have a piano here? No, I don't. Uh, it'd be great if you did. Yeah. yeah. Do you think we could include an episode? I know it's a prequel. But maybe where he goes and kills some college admissions people. No, 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 no. See, ah. I think, I think, I think is that's wink, wink? that's the thing. And I Becky. think Becky is, Becky is running. Him and Becky are running this thing, and then she discovers it, and then him and Jesse and Becky all kill her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
and then Full I House like starts. all of this, and I'd like to see it go yeah. down. Could I play Aunt Becky since she's like fired? Yeah, yeah, she shouldn't be fired though. Do you think? What, what's your feeling on that? That's bullshit, man. I mean, it's such bullshit what they did. Is, look, I'm gonna be yeah. honest. The only reason I work this hard is so I can be rich enough to get my dumb kids and, and shit. That's it. <laughs> yeah. That's is it serious. Really? I mean, it just sucks because there's so many. You people. have kids. If you could buy, if you could, if you could buy their way in, right? Are, like, how how old is your oldest? Right. Twenty five. Okay. What's what college do they go to? She went to the Art Institute for Culinary School. Okay. I had an issue with them using my husband's GI Bill because I felt like they didn't earn it. That my husband earned it. Sure. I'm just saying, Dr. Dre. Donated seventeen million dollars to USC, and his daughter got in. Are you sure it's seventeen? I read him and another guy. It was seventy. No, it probably was oh, 70. probably. He's worth yeah. a billion. Yeah, so I mean, it's like who cares? Yeah, he sold the company he for three for B's. three plus B. Yeah. No, it's three point four or something like well, that. Well, his his cut, I think. Yeah, was, yeah. Was but how is it that you have access to the best tutors, the best everything, and you still have to cheat for your kid? Like your kid could be in private school. You have access to everything. You're still cheating. Yeah, uh, look, I don't it, see what the point of sending your kids to school. Even is you're if paying worth for the school dollars. anyway. Who no, it's cares? Stupid. Fuck that. I would move. You're me, my, paying me and for my a diploma. Would all be rich somewhere, doing whatever the fuck. And if they end up being pieces of shit, good for them. Yeah, that's the American dream: is to get rich enough where you don't have to care about anybody else's problems. Ah, I like that a lot. <laughs> <laughs> is that yours? To be rich? No, she's yeah. a good person. I don't give a shit about being rich. Really? No, my it, it drives my husband crazy because he's constantly doing the books. I'm like, I don't know. And he's like, are you making enough for pension this year? I say, am I making enough for pension this year? He's like, yeah, I think you need... I'm like, that's fine. As long as I'm close to pension, that's fine, whatever. No shit. Yeah, I'm, that's not my jam. I'm never... Fuck. I mean, I stayed in a village. Every time I go to Uganda, I stay in a village with no electricity and no plumbing. Not that I want to live like that. Yeah, why do you go to Uganda? Uh, I was volunteering at a day school and orphanage, and they don't have enough teachers, so... That's like a really nice they, thing. I was they, about to make it. You got to go. You got to go there. But no, 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 no. They're really looking into getting a bobsled team. She has uh, some history true. in the bobsled. A, bo- a bobsled team. Yes. Bobsled world. Cool runnings. I wouldn't look at Uganda for that. But. Why not? Why not? Can so you? What do you? What do you, do you? You really go to teach kids there? Yeah. What do you teach them? Yeah. Um, well, mainly their favorite thing that I teach is arts and crafts because they never have any arts and crafts, anything. But I teach world history. I teach geography, uh, math, science, whatever. Whatever teacher is gone right then, I'll step in and teach because it's only primary through seventh grade. So they call it primary. Um, yeah, but they love arts and crafts. And I remember I'll tell there was a, a kid, we had sequins one day for a craft, and he was taking the sequins and putting them in his pockets. And I was like, Why are you taking those? And he thought they were valuable. He had never seen sequins. So he thought that they were valuable. And they, I think they hit him with the stick when they found out he had all these sequins. Oh, he I, said, felt, hey, I felt bad about that, but you, I, you took it from our white savior. You took all the jewels from our no, white savior. I, yeah, and I hate that. I hate when people like post pictures of themselves, like look at me around all these poor black people. Like I'm safe. It's like just go do your shit and do it. Like I'll post pictures if I need to raise money so I can buy stuff. Sure, but I'm not. My phone doesn't even work in Uganda, so I'm not like posting pictures from Uganda or something like, look at me, hashtag blessed life. Yeah, 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 hashtag rise and grind. Yeah. Rise how how and often grind. do you go over there? I went in 2014, 2015, 2013, 2014, 2017, and I'm going back this year. Hashtag Shit. child soldier. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's no joke in northern Uganda. That's a thing. Is it Dude, really? Yeah. Big time. Fuck. How do we, what, what if we started we a camp one? where we train them? Exactly. Dude. Do it. Yeah. Well, How do we get be... one? How do we get one back here? It's hard. There's only 15,000 immigrants from Uganda. So even here in Uganda the US. doesn't let immigrants in? We do? No, no, no. Emigrants. Like they came here. Oh, oh, oh. Gotcha, gotcha. I yeah. thought what you if, meant like, like, they, like... they emigrated from Uganda. <laughs> gotcha. yeah. I was like, do you remember? Fuck. Uganda's no, no, no. only got 15,000 immigrants. Do you remember in immigrants? the dark night where he goes overseas and grabs that Asian dude and brings him back? What if we just do that? Why not? And just bring one of the child soldiers home. Yeah. That'd be really hard. Make them head of security? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, head of our security? They yeah. don't even allow adoption anymore from foreign countries, so it'd be really hard. Who's Maybe you could, like, smuggle really? them. Who's they? Is that true? Yeah, who's The government. They? What government? government? Our government? Ugandan government. Oh, No, gotcha. I mean, our government's like, hey, whatever. Yeah. You want to adopt people? I was going to say. Let's go they, get a little... I heard they let's go over there and get a little Maddox. sequins over there. <laughs> just, just sequins. I mean, maybe. 18 sequins, boom, I'll take that one. Give them to me. Throw them on my shoulder. Let's party with them. Aww. I like that idea of starting a camp to train these guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, start a, you should start a camp to train them to fight back against the people who recruit yeah, them. That's what I'm saying. Like, fuck yeah. That straight obviously dance. is the whole purpose. Yeah. Is how to be a, a, essentially a, a, a double, what do you call that? A double agent? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like, yes, recruit us. 
And then once they get inside, they just What's wipe the it all out. What's the organization there? It's not RUF, right? Do you know? Oh, like what RUF is, the is all over Sierra Leone no. and, and that area. But what is the organization? I don't know. It's changed throughout the years. I, it, it's like right here. I'll remember it at 3 a.m. and then I'll call you and be like, Thanks. I think I think yours should be called Super Straight Dan's Child Fighters Incorporated. <laughs> I'm going to call it the, the King of Pops. Is that not right? The what? The Is that too of, soon? The King of Pops. It's a Michael Jackson joke. <laughs> Why are there still people that think They're that Michael all, Jackson did not do that? I don't know. He's tonguing out kids' assholes. And we're like, oh, the music's good. It's no yeah. big deal. Like, <laughs> no. Somebody should have fucking cut this dude's head off and put it on a pike. I there know. are literally right people who are Hollywood like, no, sign. no, no. Like, he didn't do it. These people are all about the money. I'm like, what? I know. It's crazy, what? right? It's crazy. Really we should go it. back the whole heads on pike thing. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's like the better. Hollywood sign is right over there. Yeah, if I you know. could just put heads on pikes around yeah. it for everybody. Of all the pedos. Yeah, of Let's all the pedos, yeah. man. Yeah, all the See, pedos. See, I just got blacklisted for saying that. I know. Oh, Lord wow. of the Flies type shit. Put that head on a stick, brother. You know, cook it up. Cook up a nice little head for dinner. I'm all about due process, but if somebody fucks a kid, they need to be executed. 100%. Immediately. And yeah. Publicly. On TV. Yeah. Wait, what was the one where they were uh, they fucking chopped up that dude uh, Yashogi? Because they made him go through all that that pain um, in Turkey. They abducted him, hmm. and then our government found out about it. Uh, the journalist. Yes. Yeah. And uh, Sean Penn, uh, Sean Penn, just went and did a fucking doc. You guys just course. talked about Sean Penn with Rudy. Are you guys on Sean Penn's nuts or something? No, we we no. hate Sean Penn. No, I would I would punch Sean Penn in the face. Sean right Penn now. loved Venezuela and loved socialism. Yeah, he, lo- he loves all that shit. So yeah. any, whenever there's a huge story like the Yashogi thing, right? Um, which he was Times Person of the Year uh, for 2018 because he, he was so he was a journalist who was talking shit against uh, against Ergadin? Yeah, uh, no the 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 prince. The Saudi princes. Oh, I see. Yeah. So they had him fucking executed. But the way they did it was they had saws and all this other shit. So he felt all of it and like extreme torture. And they had an audio of it. So what you're saying is you want to do that to pedos here in the States. Yeah. Like yeah. make them go through as much. Saws, huh? Yeah, yes. So it was bone saws. And the interesting part about it was the one guy who did it uh, was, I guess, uh, mentoring two people to do his job because he's done it all the time. So you can hear him in the audio say, put in your earphones and your iPods, like put in your iPods because you don't want to hear this. I'd like to see his LinkedIn profile. I bet it's extensive. How do you, it's a, it's yeah, just a picture how do you get of a this audio? Yeah. Uh, I, I would say it's probably, probably you probably get it off of Reddit, right, Ridge? You look like a big Redditor. God damn it. He is, you're just a predator. Out. Yeah. Ridge, you a predator or redditor? You only pick one in this life. Which one? Okay. Well, mm-hmm. all right. Jesus. If you, if you got to choose, you can probably find it on Rotten.com. What's type. that? Is that still what? a thing? Yeah, it's still a thing. It's kind of like E Bomb's world was back in the day. Um, here's what I would do: strap the guy down Dexter style, put him on top of a table saw, give him an IV with adrenaline in it, keep him awake and out of shock, and just like little segments of leg. All the way up. Ah, I'm a fan of that. Yeah, yeah, that's good. I mean, you're talking uh, uh, the. How long would you stay alive for if you're doing that? If you keep yeah. your, uh, if you keep a tourniqueted up here, indefinitely. You're kidding. Yeah. No shit. As long as you don't bleed out and go into, or go into shock, you're good. Wow, uh, I like that. The citizen, what, what was that movie? Gerard Butler. G butts. Yeah. Um, um, you ever work with G butts? Law abiding citizen. Law abiding citizen. Yeah. Ah. He did that. Really? Yeah. You never work with G butts? I have not. Who's crazy? You you were in Stranger Things the last season. Yeah. Who's the craziest person? We both sure we were, both work with Sean Astin. Did you like that? Oh, I never met him. Oh, really? No, really? I never met him, and it sucked because because you didn't have any scenes together. No, and everybody thought I had. So, spoiler alert: like we don't get access to the full scripts; only the kids do because it's the show about the kids. Right. And I'm sure like Winona does or something, but they. The day after it aired, a bunch of people stayed up all night and they watched it. And then my phone was like, ding, ding, ding. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Bob died. And I was like, oh, you assholes. I didn't know. So I woke up to all these spoilers. Ah, yeah, I had gotcha, no gotcha, gotcha. I mean, I had seen people on set. We were on set similar days. How are the kids? They're great. They are? Yeah, and they're, they're really not-, not like kids. They're like young adults. And I think like most 14 year olds are picking their nose and eating it. And these kids are like great, amazing. Yeah, humble. They're that not- Millie really? Bobby Brown, she seems like a 38-year-old woman talk when you're just like, yo, what the fuck? It's always weird because she's British and Dacre, who plays Billy, is Australian. So 
I've worked with people like I worked with Daniel Radcliffe and he stayed in an American accent the whole day. And that's what I have to do. I have to stay in whatever accent I'm doing all day. And they just kind of go in and out. So they'll talk to the brothers in their accent and then yell action and then they'll go into their American accent. And no just shit. Flawless. Yeah, which to me is very weird. I can't wow. do that. Did you work with Winona? No. Writer? I did a movie with her. Did you? She's weird. Yeah, I've heard I've heard that, but I've I've never yeah. I mean they have her in. Did and she out. steal any of your shit? No. Oh my god. Hey, I relax. I totally forgot about that. Relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so no, it's people crazy, shoplift, right? it's not a big deal. No, it's not a big deal. Um no, I, I don't she was going through some personal shit, I guess, that day, but uh like we had this really, really it was like an eight minute scene, like one of those super fucking long scenes together. And it was just her eye and this one other actor. And it just went on all day long. And she wanted to try a bunch of weird shit all day. And it was just like none of it was working. And you were just like, fuck. I, I, mm. And it was her close-ups first, obviously. Yeah. Because we weren't as famous. So it was just like, sweet. Yeah. So you sit there and deal with it. But I always wondered to everybody else she worked with, if she was doing that weird shit all the time. She would just hold up production. We were just like, all right. No, I don't know about that, but I just know she's perfect for that particular role. Yes. Joyce yeah, she so kills yes. it. I, I, when I saw it, I was like, eh, it's kind of like she's yeah. in real life. I, I haven't seen anybody miscast on that show so far. It's in the really good. I mean, seasons. they won Emmys for casting. It's yeah. really good stuff. Yeah. yeah. And the season the season three trailer just dropped, and it looks it fantastic. It did. It comes out 4th of July. Yeah. Um, Look at you. I won't, I, I won't ask you if you're in it. Yeah, don't ask. Because we're not allowed, right? No, because we sign extensive NDAs, and I would hate to be fired and or sued. Yes. So, so we're, we're not going to ask well, you, but the trailer to, looks great. And not to mention, you know, the show has no spoilers, and that's because they don't give out a lot of information to anybody. Right. Because, you know, then bloggers start pie piecing together, like, this person said this, and that person said this, and before you know it, you have spoilers. So they just they keep everything on lockdown, and there's no spoilers. Yeah, once you're done with principal, everybody's just like, no, I don't do interviews about that. Yeah. Yeah. What's uh who's your favorite you've worked with so far? I like Sadie, who plays Max. Oh yeah? Yeah, she's great. She's just such a professional. And I mean Dacre's great too. Like everybody's like, Oh, Dacre is so hot. Like, what was it like working with him? So Dacre is just the most down to earth dude ever. I was in the Harry makeup trailer with him. He was getting his mullet glued on and <laughs> you know, he's I mean, he's a gorgeous guy. He's gorgeous and he How has tall is he? He's probably five eight, five ah, nine. He's smaller than Jesus. Five nine probably. Yeah, Jesus clocked it around five eight yeah. or five nine five ten yeah so. but he has no like attitude and i mean girls are dropping panties for him and he just oh, has yeah. no attitude at all man how old is that dude i want to say probably 26 boy or so. he's living the good life yeah, is he playing really? high school at 26 uh well 25 yeah good for him yeah i mean hey if you can do it right? i've been playing 40 awesome. for like 10 years so. for <laughs> <laughs> you're one of those people who's just born 40 or is yeah. just like cool yeah and i'm like if this is what 40 looks like, i mean that's cool whatever. no it's rad i it's mean that's cool i i'll play whatever you want i was in a depends commercial I was. Shut the fuck up. No, I was. I was. No. And everybody's like, oh my God, you're going to do a Depends commercial. I said, listen, I do a Valtrex commercial. I do a, what's a herpes? Is there a herpes? Valtrex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Valtrex. I was like, I'll do that commercial. I will dance across you know, the stage in a diaper. Like, I don't give a shit. You what was the, what was it. the Depends? Like, the what? Did okay. you piss yourself at a concert? No. <laughs> no. Pissed myself all the time. Were you no. driving to an ex boyfriend's house as an no. astronaut? <laughs> as an astronaut, paid myself. No, it was actually, uh, they were asking for real firefighters in the spot, and no female firefighters ever want to be on TV. So I just told casting, I was like, um, this was one of my collateral duties in the Navy. I'm not a civilian firefighter. And he was like, yeah, uh, I bring anybody with anything. So, like, if you did a weekend course for women, because there's no women who, who do it. And so I went in and auditioned, and they said, yeah. And so we were firefighters. I don't know why firefighters wear depends, but in this commercial, they did. So we've got this bet. Wait, I would think, <laughs> hang on real quick. Just want to back up <laughs> on that. Because if you're in fire all day, wouldn't, wouldn't it be better for you if you pissed yourself? It would. It would no, that's just harder to get all that, that shit off. That turnout gear is expensive as fuck. Bunker is it gear? really? Yeah. Like Don't know anything time. about it. It I holds stopped. odor, too. Yeah. Ah. It's, it's really, material. really It stinks expensive. a little bit, huh? And you but can't I just mean... be taking a dump in your fucking... <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can dump in Depends, though. That's what I was no, going to yeah, say. You can, yeah. can you? I, I, I mean... <laughs> so here's... JT's like, yes, you can. We have this bet where... Well, we never, we never agreed to it. You agreed to it. But no, Ross, I came up with it. Ross is a coward, so he won't do it. But it's not that I don't want to wear a diaper and shit myself. So, uh -uh. so, so the bet is uh -uh. the loser. Yeah. The loser yep. has to change the winner's dirty diaper. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 
Th that's but here's the thing, right? We've all done. We've all changed a diaper. What's the difference yeah. between changing a a, a, a full grown human <laughs> or a little tiny baby? I have changed a full grown human and a tiny baby. There's a huge difference. Oh, oh dear oh, God! Mm. It, was it okay before or after Sabaro? So <laughs> <laughs> they don't allow. I used to be a nursing assistant at a nursing home. And they don't allow Sabaro at the nursing home, thank God. Oh. You've, you've had like every job on the I've planet. had like 85 billion jobs, yeah. Yeah, you're like a Puerto Rican. Yeah. I mean, and, I, and, I, and I just got, well, and I just got my license for private investigation, so. That's, Did you really? Oh. Have you ever used it? Yeah. Have you, I, have you staked somebody out? You I ever, don't, you, ever, oh you ever checked in on your husband just to make sure he's on the up and up? No, out? my husband is not that type at all. Like, literally, if somebody were to text me and be like, I'm fucking your husband, I'd be like, ha, liar. I, I don't, really? Yeah, I don't buy it at all. <laughs> um, and, and, liar. Yeah. And for me, whenever I have love scenes, I'm like, I really don't want to do this. He's like, be a professional and fucking do it. Like, you just need to do it. Maybe that's what he's into. <laughs> he likes to watch like me. Yeah, no. Dan's a voyeur. No, he's editing my reel, and he's like, he's just sitting there watching it like, okay. All right, this is a good take. Okay, this one. Yeah. Do you make, have you made out with a lot of people on no, screen? God. Oh, I try not to make it a thing. I try not to because it's That is crude. That is weird. It's gross and it's never like it looks on TV. Like I had this make out scene where it was like everything was choreographed. So it was like one, two, three, four, five, six. Like everything had a beat to it because the camera was coming around. Yep. I'm not a fan of it. I'm kind of a germaphobe and I, I just uh. not, now I would rather have a make out scene with a chick than a guy. And I just Second time you've mentioned that. Yeah, it's Gonna just because and, uh... it's just because women respect that boundary so much more. Like, can I? And you don't have to worry about anything popping up. And it's like, sorry if it does. Sorry if it doesn't. No offense. And it's just like I. You, so you've said, hey, if I if if I get a like some guy said if I get a bone or I apologize. No, there's like this saying, and I don't know who said it, but it's like a famous actor who said, if it pops up, I'm sorry. If it doesn't, I'm sorry. Because there's ah, kind of no win. That was you know? Bruce Jenner. Yeah. Who said that? I'm kidding. <laughs> he went probably. full J. He, went <laughs> he said it to JT? Or yeah, <laughs> yeah, probably. Hey, um, whatever. We're doing a movie called Tummy Sticks this summer with uh, Jared. Um, <laughs> no, but they're Civil War reenactors, um, and that's part of the whole thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Tummy Sticks. Our DP just showed up, Jonathan Chia, <laughs> over there. It's, it's we called, gotta film in on this. It's called on the Mason Dixon line, and it's uh, two soldiers, one covered Union, in syrup, one <laughs> Confederate. It's kind of like Brokeback Mountain, but with Confederate and Union soldiers. Oh, yeah. Man. So they're Civil War reenactors. They meet at, at, over pancakes, um, and then before boom, the battle, before the battle, decide against like, it, and they all pair up. Yep. And they're each missing the opposite leg. Yeah. Right? So they buy they go and buy shoes together at the same time. Yeah, so, and and so when they 69 it creates stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're we're writing this into the people everywhere right now are trying to figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> so is this going to be Hollywood funded or crowd funded? Uh, well, uh both, Hollywood. Yeah, yeah we're both. probably going we're, to Sony. We're probably tossing all probably of it roll around. over to Sony. Probably Bitcoin. We'll probably Bitcoin this one. Yeah. Um but they the, at the end they come together cuz Abraham Lincoln obviously frees everyone. Mm. They come together and they win this sack race at the end um, cuz they don't have that other leg. So it's really It's powerful. way easier for them to get in rhythm with just the outside legs. This is an award-winning <laughs> script. Yeah, I know. I agree. We're it also is. introducing something that I think this will be the Oscar part. Right. It's the reverse 69. Oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 yeah. Reverse yeah. 69 is when two guys eat each other's asses at the same time. Mm -hmm. And that's a really, it's a, it's like a hard it's complicated to, pull out. to do You've got to be really flexible. So like the technical Jared skill is training it. with Hugh Jackman. Uh, for I think this is the highlight of my career. If you could go in more into that. Oh, more into detail on that. Into okay. the reverse 69. Perfect. Yeah. So yeah. with the missing leg, you're going to get a lot more movement down there. Yes. And that's when... Yes. It's almost like he was talking about them creating a ladder. This is almost like creating a wheel mm. because you have to be everybody's be, got to be going in the same general direction to be able to get that ass at the same time. You're, you you're picturing it. Downhill. You're picturing it in your head right now. You I can tell. Put so much thought into this. Yeah. Like, well, so much you know, thought. we have a lot. We have a lot of time on our hands. We we do. Yeah, we, we do. Yeah, yeah. we we. <laughs> We have a lot of time. It's to about kill it's on about it. that interconnection. It really is when you intertwine the fingers. But the story is really about basketball. bringing people together. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. and so, then keeping them together. Yeah, right. forget the whole entire gay element, uh, the soldier part. All it's about it. humans. It's, it's about humans staying so. together, coming together, 
uh, politics, you know, yeah. it doesn't matter wh which side you're on politically. Um, yeah, what, whether you want to own slaves or not. <laughs> or not. You can still eat ass. Or f yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's actually the tagline on the poster. <laughs> 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 I'm done. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You had no idea what you wanted to do today. <laughs> I'm having this fucking poster made. I'm having this poster made. Holy shit. <laughs> you never. It's weird because I can see the poster. Yeah, no, it looks like, it looks like glory. The Confederate, but they're all tucked up. It, lo it looks they're like all tucked up. It looks like rolling downhill, and the battles going on in the background. The cannons going uphill, and they're sixty nine, and all the way down the fucking hill with one leg apiece. <laughs> Together we stand. <laughs> Oh Holy dear! Shit. You're never gonna work again when this video comes out. No. No. Oh my gosh! Mm. It's all right. You should have your husband cut that into the reel. I should <laughs> ship that off to oh Hollywood. Gosh, say, I will. Hey, hey guys, along with my acting, I've also got a pitch for a movie. That's right. Holy fuck! Um, <laughs> have you ever done a Civil War movie? No. You, you want to? Now. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I, I mean, she to. should be fine with it because nothing. It's she's just going to be a spectator or yeah. nurse or something. Yeah. What are they doing over there? A nurse. Can you lop another bit of leg off? I really want to get deeper in there. Yeah. Can you do a southern <laughs> accent? Yeah. Great. Because it would we'll be. Oh, you know. Oh no. <laughs> I, I I've never seen two one-legged men sixty nine before. I don't know why I was <laughs> kind of black, <laughs> like kind of racist. I don't know why it was that. But it was, <laughs> they, they've been 69 it all day up on that hill. I don't know. Oh, I declare. I don't believe I I've ever seen that before. I might be hurt. <laughs> <laughs> we should fetch him some water. <laughs> the thing, the real kicker is that Someone's going to see it the first time and be like, they're 69ing. <laughs> but then they realize they're eating that. That's a reverse 69. Reverse it's thing. like something people have heard about but have never actually seen yeah. before. Oh, the dicks oh, on in, in their mouths. <laughs> it, they're just they going assholes. ATM. It's, it's ass to mouth. Oh, I do declare. Just think about it. Um, yeah, I'm not it. saying. Just send the pitch to my manager. Yeah, we'll, I'm we'll not saying out. that I need a monologue today or tomorrow, but yeah. maybe the day. And we're going to do a yeah. table read and actually have two guys reverse 69 and rolling down the hill. Yeah, rolling down the hill. <laughs> down the middle of the table. Yeah. <laughs> What's the most ridiculous thing anybody's ever asked you to do in an audition? I think it was that just oh. now. It's, oh, no, she's got okay. it. Okay, yeah, this is pretty horrible. Um, so there was a Chinese student who was going to Loyola Marymount. She was actually a very I'm sorry, did you say Royola? Loyola oh, Marymount. Pardon, you, when you said Chinese student, I couldn't. No. I'm kidding. Totally kidding. <laughs> now we're on fire she today. Was a, uh, she was a very, very talented student, and there was like a, a lesbian sex scene, and she said, okay, so... We went in and auditioned, and we didn't do anything in the audition. And then for the callback, she said there's going to be a mattress in the callback. And I was like, what? That's not a thing. You don't do that. You can't do that. So a bunch of girls ended up going, and I, I had to decline. And then when I watched it, because it's just not professional. You don't ask a lot of people. And then when I watched it, it was so beautiful, and I was so bummed that I declined about the mattress on the floor of some ramshackle place in Hollywood for a callback. That's the third lesbian. That's number three, if you're keeping score at okay, home. Okay, well, lesbian here's reference. a What was so beautiful one? about it? Yeah, what no, was so it was, beautiful? It was a really, like, well-done scene. It was it black like, and white? Um, no, but it was, like... It, it, it didn't even show nudity in the scene, which she was like, you have to be okay to show nudity, but it was just really tastefully done, which a lot of lesbian stuff in Hollywood is not very tastefully done. But the weirdest, like, non-sexual thing was I showed up to this audition, and there were women there, and they said, dress in black. So the women were dressed in black, like, really scantily, and it was an open audition, which doesn't happen, and it was at a karate studio, and there was a... This, oh, <laughs> this is getting so better. Weird. Yeah. There was this camera, and there was a guy there with, like, some thick accent. He was, like, Venezuelan 
on or something. And he was like, come here. And then he had people like do this fashion walk toward the camera with like the bedroom eyes. And then he said, show me your best martial arts moves. It was so weird. So I went up there and he said, why do you want to be a part of these, whatever it was. And I just looked at the camera and I said, I'm sorry, I don't. This is ridiculous. I have to go. And so I'm walking out and his assistant is running after me like, can, you, can we just get your headshot, miss? And I just gave her the headshot and I walked out and women were literally in front of the camera like, hi-ya! And like doing these weird, crazy moves and I dodged a bullet on that one. Wow. Ooh. It was weird. Yeah, it was in awesome. Montrose too, which like who goes to Montrose for an audition? Yeah, no, you never do. No. That's strange. Well, if you're going to do karate. Yeah, now if you're doing karate, Montrose is, is the place to go. Um, Sensei. Uh, Sensei William uh, Kreese is up there. Oh, well, yeah, I don't think this was sense. This was like Sensei Geraldo, somebody. It was okay. Re Rex Kwando, I believe. Yeah, it might have been Rex Kwando. Could be. Could be. Was he wearing pants, American flag? No. <laughs> so it wasn't him. No American flag pants? No. Uh, did you get asked to be in Top Gun 2? Oh, uh, this is going to piss you off, isn't it? Mm. Here's the thing. The casting, okay, casting, this casting director does a wonderful job. But I did not see any breakdowns for Top Gun 2. It was under a pseudonym, because they don't want it put out under Top Gun 2, that said, because a lot of times casting directors will put real military veterans, please submit where applicable and just say you're a vet. So that way when you go in, it's not some civilian doing like Barney, you know, type right, right, and right. stuff. And nothing. I don't know of any vets that got in for it. No shit. Yeah, I don't know. They definitely used vets for like stunts because all vets are st all vets are stunt people, and they used people for a uh, loop group, which is like when you hear the voices in the background on things. Yeah, well, yeah. Ross knows, but yeah. Um, you guys, do you guys know loop? I didn't. Yeah, know yeah, yeah. Until like two years ago, so that's why I'm like, I don't know. Um, they use vets for loop group, but as far as actual roles, you know, it's funny for loop group for range fifteen. Actually, a lot of it was just Matt. Matt could do like all these weird fucking. Was it? Uh, yeah, so all every zombie noise you heard in that movie was Matt's. Uh, every sex. sex scene, guy and girl, was Matt's. Okay. Um, there's people who are really good at ADR, uh, and he's just one of those people who could just do it. Um, I hate it. I don't like matching shit up like that. I, but I don't uh, like when you have to go in for a loop group and you have to do grunts and stuff like that is the worst. You leave and you're just like, oh, I'm so fucking tired. Yeah. You're grunting and throwing yourself and breathing. and <laughs> Yeah, good. look. That's life, though, isn't we'll it? See. We'll see. We'll see how that movie does. I'm a lot interested of to stuff. see how that movie does in the box office. Like, We'll see, man. It's been so long. How do you remake or how do you how do you do a sequel to a movie 35 years later? I'm curious, though, to know what the fuck the plot is going to be. They're I know still the shooting. Is. They've been shooting for seven months. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what the plot is. So the plot is this. Miles Teller is Goose's son. And he's like the new fucking prodigy. And Tom Cruise is the instructor. Yeah, but I'm, my whole point, like, yeah, I got that. But, like, in the first one, like, we were in the Cold War. and There the was Russians actually a potential the, for a dogfight yeah, at some point. Like, now, wh who are they going to fucking there's fight? There's no it's dog gotta be fights China. right now? No, there's, there hasn't been a, an actual dogfight in years. I'm going to say it's Syria. 30 years? I'll go Syria. No, they don't have, no, Syria doesn't have a fifth generation fighters. Fucking like, bro. It's got to be China. That's yeah, the only cause one. Because they're, they're in Super we can't Hornets. Fight, here's the thing, though. We can't fight China simply because the box office is too big over there. Yeah, yeah they have they to. will never fucking allow that. That's why I'm curious. I'm, ah. I'm like, what, what is this movie going to be? Maybe it's going to be Because they aliens. changed. Khashoggi. Uh, Originally, the new, the new, the remake of uh, of the Wolverines what was that thing called? It was. Oh North, yeah, it was yeah, North yeah, Korea. Yeah, yeah it was so. North Korea. They, yeah. it, it originally was supposed to be China, and they were like, "Yeah, no, we'll make this Korea." I want. I want. Yeah, you can't go North Korea because you know. Yeah. So we're who's the bad guy? Yeah, who is the, who's bad, the bad guy? guy? Who are we flying against? The Taliban don't fly jets. That's right. You guys heard that Tom Cruise supposedly was super rude to all the sailors on the Roosevelt. I heard that. that. I don't know if that's true. I don't know. Did it's, you get confirmation? It, it, it was. People wrote in that were actually there during it, and they said that's absolutely true. And the so, Navy buried what the the words coming out because, of course, it's like if it comes out that hey, this guy was a jerk to all the Navy. The Navy's gonna go. No, he was fine. Everybody that right. wrote in was but, like, no, he was a fucking nightmare. So right, it wasn't right, right. just like because regular filming is gonna be like. Don't look at him. Don't interrupt takes, stuff like that. So it wasn't just regular filming rules that people misconstrued. It was like, he was like, don't look at me. Don't talk I don't know. To me. I don't know. I, and you never know. It could have, it could not have been in those situations. Sometimes he could not even know that somebody said that. That's what His yeah. assistant or handler is like, don't look at him. Like, like making it extra, like 
like dramatic than it has to be. And that carries over. Like, I don't know. Who knows? I hope the underpants carry over because he, he wore those really high in that movie. When Goose died, I don't remember so much the goose dying part, but the aftermath of, of him wearing his boxers his just super high. Yeah, yeah, putting water in his face, looking at himself in the mirror, and then that deep breath. And there was a shot from behind, and his underpants were up above, I mean, re- like probably four inches higher than they would be on a normal man's body. <laughs> and I want to see that come back again because that's been a while. And I think we've all missed it, right? I hope they have I Michael Ironside in, 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 in number two. Same. And I want uh, Tom Scared up in that bitch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Scared still alive? Is Scared still alive? Yeah. I don't, I don't know. Ask. Eh, I don't know. He looks like somebody that would be dead. Yeah. I know Val Kilmer did it. So Did he? Yeah. How he much did he it. did he lose any weight or just like go straight Val Kilmer? Oh, boy. Because he's oh, a fat boy. piece of shit now. No. Right? He's got cancer. He's really thin. Oh, so well, there he, oh, cancer works. But he, I thought I heard he had gotten fat because he was sick, too, though. He, he was like sick talk. from something. Yeah, he had uh, this lymph node thing, and he was one of those people who believed in like natural healing mm. oh, wow. in New so Mexico. Was, he, was so, he taking like the steroids and it made him puff up or correct. something? Is that what you mean? Yeah, yeah. And so then, mm. so anyways, his kids were like, yo, you've got to fucking go into real doctor's. And it turned out, I think it was throat cancer. So he has to speak with like a, a voice box and he's got a hole in his throat. Why is it people Ouch. in Hollywood are like, homeopathy, let's do that. I know. Like, uh, or we could do stuff that works. Because they're contrarians. Yeah. That's why. An anti-vaxxer. Like that, oh whoever doesn't God. vaccinate their kids is a fucking loser. Kick them out of the city. The, like, the, the country. Just yeah, go to yeah. a fucking go away. AIDS island where you and you everybody go, else with disease can go You know, think out. about your fucking dumb bullshit ass ideas somewhere else. Yeah. Well, you away know, we from start us. the... Australia exists because tossed a bunch of criminals down there. Let's start a new country that's just anti-vaxxers. Yeah. We'll Make it happens. Somalia. We'll, yeah. th- we'll take all these people to Somalia and just drop them off. Exactly. And that's it. That's it. Then we're done. Put Can some we cameras up. take out the Somalis? Why? They're fine. Okay. Are they? No. Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> that sucks there. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm the captain now, Dan. Oh, yeah. you are. Yeah. I've always wanted to look in your eyes and say that too. I'm so bummed. Like that uh, uh, that actor hardly ever works anymore. He no, could he could be. It's the not true. That. No. I tried to hire him. Stop and you, I have a Dan. story. Yeah. So I it is you know his name was fifty initials or whatever it is you know, uh, like like fucking what do you call that? A E I O U. Give it give it to me vowels. He's like 50 vowels in his name, right? Okay. Abu Aznak Bakwa, whatever his sure. name is, right? I tried to hire him for ha- for Helen Keller versus Night Wolves because he got a nominated for an Academy Award. That way, when I put him in the trailer, I was going to lead with <laughs> starring Academy Award nominee and then that guy, and that was going to be the fucking joke of it. It was only like three lines in the in the movie. He was in and out. I told his agent it would be an hour tops. Right. We'll give him like five grand. And uh, they said no. And I was just like, was it right. his agent saying no or yeah. him saying no? His agent. I, I bet. I bet you he didn't even fucking know. To be honest, yeah, with probably. You. Because, dude, five grand for I mean, an hour's worth of work. And I was yeah. like, he doesn't even have to go through makeup. Nothing. Just show up. We'll shoot him out, and that's it. Wow. Just so we could use him in the trailer and have an Academy Award. Because let's oh, yeah. face it, the Keller, Helen Keller versus Night Wolves needed that that push for an Oscar. Since we didn't get an Academy Award winner in it, like yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel that that's probably the reason why it yep. wasn't nominated. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, because his sure agents that, that was it. Yeah, we just needed more Oscar nominees in it, and <laughs> um, and that guy, well, he would have pushed that over the edge. He's worked like ten times since then. But I, then again, how many roles are there, right? For Somalis? Yeah. I don't know, but we should start fighting for that next. Let's start a march. Let's get out in the street and put on a, a, a Somali hat. That's right. Do they wear hats? Only Somalis can play Somalis. Yeah, that's true. But if you have a military story, anybody can play military. Fuck you guys. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to tell your stories and make money off it. You aren't invited. I hate when civilians play military heroes. <laughs> Wink. <laughs> Vandenham. Uh, that'll bring us to the point in the show of the drinking bro of the week. So the drinking bro of the week is somebody that inspired you or helped you get to where you are in this life that you were proud of that you'd like to give a shout out. Who would you like to give that to, Jennifer Marshall? <sighs> Nobody rolled her eyes. Really, my husband. Let me tell you why. Most spouses of actors will not do tapes with them. They hate them. They will not. They'll just say, go do your own thing. My husband will wait till my kids are in bed and do tapes with me at midnight, Mm -hmm. or he'll wake up and do them at 4 a.m. He did my Stranger Things tape with me, which is why I booked that. He never has a complaint. 
He just does it. And he loves me unconditionally, whether I'm on the red carpet or I look like a complete pile of shit, which is 90% of the time. He loves me the exact same. That's amazing. Yeah. What's I'm his name? Obsessed. What's his name? Juan. Juan? Juan. What's his full name? If I tell you his last name, then you'll know my, then everyone will know my real last name. Never oh. mind. Yeah. Okay. I don't give that. I've had problems with uh, a couple people looking my name up on property records and coming to my house. Oh, really? Yeah. Weird. That's creepy. Yeah, I had to take my name off of the property record. I had to do a quick claim to take my name off because people would show up. Somebody showed up at the, at the post looking for me. Yeah, and they had to remove him from the post. Creepy. And it was a Navy vet. Go Navy. That is creepy. Oh, shit. Yeah. I, I could always give him your name. He could stalk you instead. I go by Juan, actually. Okay. So yeah. You can give him yeah. my name. If they show up to my house, I'll murder their whole fucking family. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. That's true. I. That's the reason I got security cameras, because I would like to see them coming so I can get my gun so I can yeah. murder them. Yeah. Yes. Well, that's a stateside kill. That is a stateside yep. kill. Uh, Jennifer, this was awesome and weird. Thank you. And I'm Thanks sure you will never about come those back. Movies. Yeah, those those yeah. ideas you had about Quantum Butt Leap. And yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to take those to heart. They were really good. You may not be able to get, but you can get an up and comer. Yeah, literally. Sure. Mm-hmm. Literally, <laughs> you have to get an up and comer. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or a bottom of blower, I guess. Um, what was the name of the Civil War movie? We didn't name it. We just came up with the tagline. What was the tagline? And created the poster. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Whether you what? wanted slaves or not, you could still eat ass. Or something. <laughs> 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 we're going to end Jared Taylor, Danny Holloway. <laughs> I'm Ross Patterson. Good night, everyone.